Hi Cancer, this is Ascended Twin 144K. I'm here to redo your reading because um, the readings that I just picked up on for you guys, um, um, Cancer and Libra and possibly Aries too. I may have to redo all of you guys' readings. So um, a lot of these readings that are coming out in my personal deck, I'm about to transfer these readings um, or I'm going to start doing um, my other channel definitely because I'm picking up on some really really heinous shit and um, that's what that deck has been created for is to pick up on some things that um, other readers don't like to talk about um, some people don't like to hear the truth about but this is what's going on in the underbelly of our world and it's very visceral it's very ugly and it's very disturbing and it's very painful and it's very traumatic and this is someone's life so I'm going to redo you guys' readings, but instead I'm going to use regular uh, tarot and oracle for you guys, okay? So we're going to see what comes out in your reading right now, uh, family. Um, this is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Mercury, Venus, North Node, South Node, and Stellium. This is not going to resonate for every Cancerian, but it will for some. Time is fluid, so this could be past, present, and future energies. The roles can be reversed. The energies can be reversed. This could be you or your person, you versus them. Same sex relationships as well as divine counterparts. Anytime you were guided to my channels, you clicked on a video, it was time for you to receive the messages. If for whatever reasons the messages do not resonate, check your moon and your rising. Also, if they still don't resonate for you, but you know someone's story this is, send them here, family, so they can receive the messages. Thank you to each and every last one of you who has subscribed to the channel. The channel is growing. Thank you so much, family, for your assistance and your support. That means a lot. Um, and God bless everybody that's on this journey with us. Also, you know, I pray for you guys daily. I pray that you are eating well. You're taking care of yourselves. You're doing your prayers, your meditations, your affirmations. What are you thankful and grateful for in this life? Also... Um, for those of you who don't like readers that curse, I do. So if that's the problem, I'm not your reader. And if you're under 18, I need you to leave my channel. Thank you so much. <clears throat> Cancer, some of y'all took a risk with your divine counterpart for somebody here. There's no place like home. Spirit is asking you to reconsider or they're either asking your twin to reconsider um this might be only one person's story here yet again i accept that everything happens in divine order someone here needs to heal their second chakra you have a lot of fears and insecurities you also have a fear of being loved cancer somebody here is suffering from sex addictions and someone here has been triggered very badly overreacting responding rather than reacting Avoid decisions based on fleeting emotions. There has been a tower moment in your life, Cancer, or it will be. Sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval. It's time to go through a transformation, Cancer. Give me some messages for Cancer, Holy Spirit. I feel like there's somebody here in love with a younger person or is involved with a younger person that's a soulmate. It could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. They could have fire and air, I mean fire and water, or possibly air in their chart. You could be dating someone younger than you, Cancer, or they could be uh, older than you. Messages for Cancer, straight out the gate. We talked about the tower, there it is. Aries, Scorpio, energy. So there's a change that's happening for you, and we are on the Lion's Gate. So the Lion's Gate is here. Second card out is the Death card. So this is some serious ass shit because these two cards together definitely represent death. Physical death. Somebody here needs to be careful, Cancer. Yeah, there's someone that's watching you in a commitment or you're watching somebody go through an ending in a commitment. There's a spiritual teacher, healer, or leader that's watching you go through some type of ending in a relationship, a marriage, a commitment. There's also a powerful lesson here. I got three majors right out the gate. 
Aries, Scorpio, Scorpio energy, Taurus. This is a north and south node transit. You need to change, Cancer. Or somebody here dealing with does, but this is your reading, so I'm talking to you. Somebody here, there is an age difference. Somebody here is older than the other. It could be the woman that is your divine counterpart. Cancer, for some of you, this could also be a child. This child could be in college for someone. There could have been some shocking news, some sudden change, some advance. Maybe there was a loss of, um, I don't know why, I just picked up for somebody here. Somebody here, their parent could be a minister, um, and somebody's grandfather died. Somebody's father, grandfather died. So my condolences to whoever's grandfather died. They could have been a pastor or a minister, a preacher um, in the church as well. This person is visualizing that they've been called home to glory. Someone here, they could have absolutely adored you or you adored them as well, Cancer. Um, there's a child here in college. Their parent, their parent absolutely adores them, and it could be a son. For others of you, this is an age difference between you and a lover, and someone here absolutely adores the other. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. Somebody here also wants to offer an apology or some type of amends. Divine timing is here yet again. We have divine timing. I accept that everything happens in divine order. A lot of you are going through some change, changes in a family dynamic and a structure. Could also be your job as well for some of you. Some of you have really scaled the um, mountain in your work as far as being a dominating force in your um, place of work. You could be a very solid, stable person in your community. You could be a father. You could be a husband. You don't have to be any of those things, but you could be a single, independent business owner. Someone here that's very stable, very dependable. People can also come to you for advice, but there's something that's imbalanced in your life, uh, Cancer. You could be dealing with an earth sign or you have earth in your chart. There is a soulmate here that you might be going through an ending with. Someone that you may have, may or may not have children with. Somebody here that you absolutely protect and adore and love. Um, this could be someone you've known since high school, college. Um, this could also be someone um, that you have built an empire with. This is also possibly a past life soulmate. Someone that you could be going ju through judgment with or some level of karma. That's the fourth major out here. This is a major life-changing event for you, Cancer. What else is going on here for my Cancer Holy Spirit? There, You could be also, I'm picking up two messages, so take what only resonates as your story, family. Somebody here also um, wants to reconcile, but they're indecisive because maybe you may have been a snake in the past or you... Um, or the person that you dealt with was a snake in the past to you, Cancer. Either somebody here has been the snake to the, to the other where a relationship was concerned. So someone here is definitely wanting to return to a soulmate. Someone that may have ended it with. You may have ended it with or they ended it with you. Someone here that felt left out in the cold or abandoned by you or you by them, Cancer. You could be dealing with a Capricorn Taurus Virgo. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So tell me about why this tower is happening for uh, Cancer, Holy Spirit. Why is this tower happening for Cancer? Because somebody here has a tendency to self-sabotage their relationships. Cancer, this is either you, you self-sabotage, who are you talking to, where you been, what's going on, let me smell your drawers, what's happening here, Who's in? Oh, who, who is this you texting? So you tear it up, you destroy it, and then you want to fix it and repair it. It becomes repetitive. It becomes redundant. And somebody decide, I'm over it. So there could have been an end to a situation where there was a same, insane amount in chemistry. Um, you liked each other equally and you had a lot of fun together, but the time is over. It's time for you to end it. Yeah, you've gone through a tower in a marriage, a commitment, a relationship. There was a shocking change, sudden news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, and it's a transformation. But you like someone here, Cancer, or someone likes you while you're in another commitment someplace else. 
romance is blooming, fun, flirting, and wanting to date. So you might be stepping outside of your relationship or your person is. Tell me about the Nine of Cups for Cancer. Yeah, somebody you absolutely adored. Either you seduced them into a third-party situation or they introduced seduce you into a third party situation but somebody here was definitely left heartbroken there was a third party interference here in this relationship cancer either you put the third party there or your person did what else is going on for my cancers here holy spirit why is the king of pentacles here and what's going on with him holy spirit yeah there's a you're in separation with the king of pentacles queen of pentacles doesn't matter male or female Somebody here, your divine counterpart that you were chasing. I already know that this is a twin flame relationship I'm looking at here. Sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning for you, but unsure of the future. If this isn't you, Cancer, then this is your person. Somebody here is going through a change. Somebody here is um, taking the rose-colored glasses off about a soulmate. Somebody here that used to watch, look, stalk, gaslight, perception, and focusing out. Someone has gone within about a soulmate here. And somebody has gained some clarity about this situation with this soulmate. Tell me about the judgment here for cancer. Why is the judgment here for cancer, Holy Spirit? That's too many. I'm only going to take the first one. Yeah, somebody here is going through some karma for wearing a mask. In this situation, somebody was not showing their true authentic self. In this situation, somebody here was not showing their true feelings. They were hiding, personifying, pretending, deluding, and gaslighting a soulmate. And you're receiving karma for it. You want to receive a love call from this person or you expect this person to send you a love call. Somebody here loves somebody and they want to let them know how they feel. Tell me about the two. Yeah, somebody here is going back and forth with an addiction that they're suffering from. Could be an earth sign or this is you, Capricorn. I mean, uh, Cancer. Might be a Capricorn involved. Should I just called it? Somebody here is juggling because they have an addiction here. Codependent, obsessive, possessive, controlling. And it has a block and it causes restraints and blocks in relationships. It's time for you to rewrite your story, your love story, Cancer. Ooh, we rewrite your love story. Rewrite. I put the love in it here because I say love because love is the center of everything and it radiates beauty all around you. Rewrite your love story how you would like it to be. Release. Feel peace now. Sleep subliminals. So you need to have some sleep subliminals about 21 to 31 days worth to help rewrite your love story, Cancer. Tell me about this tower and the hammer here for Cancer's Holy Spirit. Yep, somebody's taking the rose-colored glasses off, I told you. You're starting to see where you do the damage and bring in destruction in your own relationships. You're starting to see things differently than they are. Past conditioning influencing the situation. You're reevaluating where you used to may not have paid attention, Cancer's. See if they're the one. Spend time together and make the effort getting to know them. Emotional investment. That was what you had the fear about. That's what the root, the second chakra and the root chakra possibly too. Tell me about the death and the passion here for cancer. Yeah, somebody here ended something where there was um, a lot of passion, but that wasn't enough to live and survive off of. Somebody here wanted something more, more authentic, more real, more definitive for a relationship. So somebody ended something here, Cancer, either you or Scorpio. And somebody here was very unapologetic and self-loving and decided on must-haves. Then they released it to the universe and they moved forward. This is either you or the Scorpio or Aries or Scorpio. Somebody that definitely has Scorpio here in their chart. If not you or your person both. Tell me about the Hierophant and the Lightning. So what changed in a commitment, a marriage, a relationship, or a divine connection? Told you. Emotional intimacy. Somebody here has fear of being loved. So there was a sudden change, a shocking uh, moment, an epiphany here. Somebody here is healing relationships with themselves. Inner child precedes successful relationships. 
love is energy somebody here is meditating and uh, listening to their intuition or needing to follow their intuition to find inner peace and balance alone or with a partner excuse that any background noise that you hear presently family tell me about the seduction and the nine of cups for cancer so somebody here is easily seduced into temptation third party hooking up flirting attracting and dating other people why is this here for cancer holy spirit it's your patterns about how you date in relationships cancer patterns you've dated a lot of people be aware of dating patterns stop what doesn't work subliminals change subconscious patterns so it's time for you to change how you show up in relationships and how you uh date didn't i tell you re reprogram your subconscious minds so recondition your subconscious mind to change your life subliminals rewrite your belief system so cancer it's time for you to make some changes baby. tell me about the king of pentacles and separation so there is someone that misses you here cancer or you miss them or it could be mutual yeah somebody here um you go to places that pique your interest and attend social gatherings and talk to meet new people so cancer if this isn't you then you're in separation from someone that's getting ready to meet someone. They're going to places that pique their interest and they're getting to meet new people. Somebody here still has trust issues. So ascertain if trust issues are justified or unjustified. Trust is imperative to feeling safe and secure. Tell me why the Six of Cups and the sunglasses are here for cancer. Somebody here is challenged because there is some things here that need to be discussed because it's going to create a deal breaker here for you, Cancer, or your soulmate. Somebody here is leveled up and the other one here has not, not yet. List and adhere to your deal breakers. The universe will support you staying true to you. So, Cancer, you may need to talk to a soulmate and list your deal breakers of what is not working for you in a relationship. Tell me about the judgment and the mask. Why is this here for cancer, Holy Spirit? Yeah, somebody here wants to reconcile with someone here that has a magical mindset. Everything is divine and know that you are the creator of your reality and co-manifest with the universe. Somebody here needs to clear out their... Um, you need to remove some people out of your life in order to bring in your twin or your soulmate. Somebody here has been juggling. You need to meditate daily and listen to your intuition. Find inner peace and balance alone or with a partner. And make sure that you give yourself time to heal. The right person can't come in if the wrong one is already there. You need to make space for your divine counterpart. And that's something you have not done, Cancer, from the looks of your reading. So let's go ahead and clarify your reading. And I'm going to use this little funny ass deck that always makes me laugh. I'm going to do my best not to laugh. <coughs> Somebody here is self-made. Somebody here that's very eclectic, um, very creative. They're single, they're stable and abundant. Pre-emperor, pre-empress energy. Tell me why all of this is here on the tower for cancer, Holy Spirit. What caused this tower moment for cancer? Somebody here wants to make amends and apologize. They're trying to uh, work on an apology here to offer somebody some love. They're going to try to conjole some love here from someone. Um, but somebody here was burnt really badly in a situation, Cancer. This is either you, a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, or a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, like yourself. Somebody here might have been controlling, manipulative. Somebody here could have did some magic. I'm also seeing some blood magic here, too. Um, somebody here may have used this um, against you. A Queen of Cups could have been the person that has been manipulating you, scolding you, um, cussing you out. Somebody here that makes you feel like you're listening to your mom and you don't want to hear the shit. You could be dealing with another uh, water sign here. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, the Queen of Cups, somebody here that has a lot of emotion for you, or either this is you, 
maybe the person that you dealt with in the past, they gave you the business and you didn't like it. So divine timing is here in order to temper, heal, and balance the um, hurt. Somebody here um, retreated from someone that hurted someone, that hurt the other. Virgo energy. Tell me about everything that's on the uh, Scorpio, the death card for Cancer. Yeah, there's a death that you have to go through, an ending, and listen to your intuition in order to have a new beginning, possibly with a high priestess here. Yeah, someone here that's already left the situation and moved forward from a bad situation to calmer waters. So you could have a new beginning here, Cancer, but you need to listen to your intuition. Ace of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, uh, Pisces, Cancer, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Tell me about the high priest. So I have a divine couple here, the high priestess and the high priest. And the high priest is looking at what caused the ending and what the high priestess is doing presently, male or female. Um, somebody here realized that this soulmate, your divine counterpart, actually makes you happy. Look at this. And you love them, Cancer, and they love you. You love each other mutually. Somebody here has Leo in their um, chart or either they're dealing with a Leo. We have... Um, Somebody here that needs to gain courage and strength again. So you need to find your strength in this situation to change your patterns of third-party situations, Cancer. They really caused you nothing but burdens. Leo energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius on the Ten of Wands. And you're about ready to drop the burdens here that you've invested yourself into. You could be overwhelmed in your family situation or your living dynamic or your relationship dynamics. Tell me about this King of Pentacles. Yeah, something here is not healed or balanced yet in order for someone to come into, um, to come together here. There's still burdens that need to be dropped. Somebody here has still got, uh, extras, as I'll say. Uh, Sagittarius energy, so something here still isn't healed and balanced. Why isn't it healed and balanced, Holy Spirit, for Cancer? What's not healed? Somebody's finances here. Somebody is still working on their finances possibly or working on an offer. They're taking too long to offer it and somebody here is about to get it for someone else and somebody here is going to be mad and pissed off with the other about um, having um, regrets here. Somebody here is regretting some things that they did and they don't want to hear it. So your higher self could be on your ass about either that, your ancestors, your mama, somebody is on your ass. <laughs> the choices that you've made. Somebody here's mom is also um, getting on their ass about something too. Could be your grades. Tell me about the six of cups and um, the sunglasses and the reverse and the deal breaker upright. This is a challenge here. It's a challenge for somebody to take some passionate level of action and um, communicate. Someone here is distracted, could be distracted by a stripper, a belly dancer, a go-go girl, somebody here. <laughs> Page of Wands, there could be a distraction here by Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Strong energy here. Somebody here is caught up with, um, yeah, some strippers and somebody get their ass chewed out of the back. <laughs> somebody is also pissed off because there's an imbalance with the finances. Somebody here is holding money while the other one is fighting about money. So there could be fighting here between you and a spouse or you and a boyfriend, a girlfriend, a live-in situation where there's some issues here with money. I also heard child support just a second ago. So somebody here is pissed off that they don't get enough in child support, possibly here. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio here. Tell me about the judgment, the mask, and the magical mindset. Yeah, somebody is challenged to leave something that's toxic and codependent and end it as the king of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Capricorn energy here. Somebody here has addictions and somebody here hides that... They're toxic.
tell me about the juggling and the addiction and meditate for cancer yeah somebody here is juggling in an imbalanced situation here Ooh, somebody is dealing with a shrew and somebody here is stingy as fuck capricorn taurus virgo somebody you invested with or somebody you work with something you need to work on here in order to have a new beginning in love spirit is trying to guide you towards this new beginning which ultimately brings you a commitment but you're still indecisive because you keep watching these hips wiggle <laughs> somebody here is so indecisive they're back and forth and distracted so you could definitely be dealing with a dancer here somebody here has a lot of emotions or um somebody here is definitely in love somebody here may be trying to uh, manipulate a third party situation here cancer so hopefully you'll uh, work on making some space here in this situation. <laughs> this is the never ending story, Cancer. Tell me some messages here for my Cancer. You have romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring, family. So take the time to do so. What else is going on here for my Cancer's Holy Spirit? Somebody here is a big flirt. And somebody here needs to learn to flirt. Um, extend your lighthearted hearted energy to others. It's time for you to release the X. All of this is falling right here between the devil and um, a, a commitment. So this is a toxic commitment here for me, Cancer. What else? Yeah, some of you um, may try to rekindle um, a relationship and put it in the honeymoon stages. But, ooh, spiritual message, lesson. Somebody here, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So somebody here is um, reenacting some toxic patterns that they grew up in around in life. And it's creating a lot of deception. Somebody here is definitely wearing a false self mask. Cancer, let's go ahead and see who are some of the players that are involved in this situation. For some of you. Who's all involved with Cancer here, Holy Spirit? Okay. So we have an Aquarius here. We have somebody here that's very passionate and toxic in love. A lot of arguing, fighting, possibly with an Aries, a Leo. Hoo-hoo-wee. Cancer, I'm going to go ahead and call off some of the... Um, um, herbs that might be of some use to you. We have red root sage here that could be of some benefit to you, family. We have ginseng here that could be of some benefit to you. We have coriander. So coriander could be some good to you, as well as rosemary. Someone's name could be rosemary. We have hedge, hedge mustard. Hedge mustard. We have Celandine or Celandine, and we have Echinacea. So, someone here may like to use Echinacea during the cold seasons. We have Selenite as your um, healing crystals. We have Benadinite as another of your healing crystals. We have Canvasite as your healing crystals. We have Opal as your healing crystals. We have carnelian as your healing crystal. We have sujolite as one of your healing crystals. We have aquamarine as one of your healing crystals. We have tourmaline quartz as one of your healing crystals. We have labradorite or labradorite. We have apophyllite. Some beautiful crystals cancer and last but not least we have sunstone so this has been your reading cancer i hope you enjoyed it please like comment subscribe share with your family friends and co-workers you can find me here on youtube as ascended twin 144k here's where i do all types of readings for you family as well um if anything resonated here with you as your story today make sure you hit the like subscribe and comment and share button 
Also, hit the notification bell so you can receive all the latest updated content that I deliver to this channel. Also, if you go to the About portion of my YouTube channel, you will see all the channels that I own and operate presently at this time. Um, as well as how to book a reading with me, as well as how to donate to the channel. You may not always understand why certain things ha happen, Cancer. However, there is always a higher purpose to the events in your life. Through turmoil, a blessing will soon be revealed. My beloved, though we may be physically apart, spiritually we are always united. For love transcends space and time. Nothing is missing. Acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times we must accept things as they are. There is no point in trying to change what is beyond our control. And romance. Cupid's arrow strikes. Ooh. Healing. Imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light. And feel your relationship being healed this very moment. This has been the reading, Cancer. You guys take care. Until the next video. Peace.